Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're gonna be taking a look at how to crop inside of After Effects. Thankfully, it's incredibly simple, so let's take a look. So there's two different kinds of cropping inside of After Effects that you might be after. Cropping our entire work area to a new size and shape, sort of like cropping inside of Photoshop. Or the second option is more like cropping inside of Premiere Pro, where you're taking a particular clip and chopping off one of its sides. Both of these are incredibly simple to do, but if you don't even know where to start, it can be incredibly frustrating. So let's take a look at that first version of cropping and jump right into After Effects. Let's say, for example, you wanted to take your entire frame here and crop it down so that really only the text here is visible. The way you do that is you take your composition window here and you go down to the bottom and there's this box called region of interest. Click on it and now you can draw pretty much the same way you draw a rectangular mask, just click and drag. And from here, when you let go, you can see that we've cropped down to just what's included inside of this box and everything else around it is surrounded by black. And we can click the edge here and drag around and reposition and click and drag the edges and realign to get exactly the framing that we're after. But here's the thing. Once we've done this, we haven't actually changed the resolution of our project. We haven't effectively cropped yet. If we go up to composition, composition settings, we can see that we started with a composition that's 1920 by 1080, and that's still what we're at. In order to actually crop it and apply the cropping that we've just done, go back up to composition, crop comp to region of interest. And now we can see that we've actually cropped down. There's no more black bars around the outside. If we go back up to composition, composition settings, we can see that we actually have a new resolution of 590 by 262 pixels. Okay, so that's been one version of cropping, but this next one that we're gonna take a look at is how to crop an individual element or layer within your larger project. And if you guys think that we've been doing a good job so far, feel free to give us a like and let us know. And if you wanted to see more of this guy, definitely give us a like. But let's jump back into After Effects and take a look at the second version of cropping. So here you can see that we have a little bit of a different setup. We have a composition here with a background, a piece of text at the bottom, and then a red rectangle. And all of these layers are individually controlled. Uh, and this red rectangle is the thing that we want to crop. Now, the easiest way to crop an After Effects, in my opinion, is actually not to use a crop effect, it's to use a mask. So the way that you mask is you click and highlight the layer that you wanted to mask, then go up to the rectangle tool here, or you can just click the Q key. And here you can just click and drag, and now anything inside of this box you've created is going to be kept. And anything outside of the box is gonna be cut off, effectively cropping it. You can see why this is so easy. So let's say, for example, we wanted to crop it off by about that much. Now, if we wanted to get even more control over this, we can see that underneath our layer here for the red rectangle, we have a section for masks. And underneath here, we have a lot of control over how we can use this mask. We can add a bit of a feather to it. Uh, we can change the opacity of the entire box as a whole. It's got a, lot of, uh, got a lot of control. So this is a really unique and effective way to crop inside of After Effects when it's technically not even cropping. Uh, but if we wanted to actually use a true version of cropping, all you have to do is go to the Effects and Presets section here. And if you can't find that, just go up to Window and click on Effects and Presets and that'll bring it up. So inside here, you can just simply type in crop and there's a crop edges effect. Now, the reason that I didn't suggest using this right off the bat is that if we drag and drop this onto our footage, we can see that it's really broken down in a nice way. We've got, you know, a parameters for cropping from the top, from the bottom, from the left and from the right. But when you try to actually use it, it doesn't actually let you. You can try to click and drag these sliders, but they always jump back to 5% and they're all in red, sort of indicating that there's something special going on with them. Now you can click and drag this top parameter and bring down all of the edges at the same time, but that's probably not what you're going after. Now, there is a way to fix this. You can actually change this so that it's working properly every single time you open up After Effects and each of these are working individually and you're not running into problems. But if you just wanted a quick and dirty solution, the base effect that this comes from is actually being used by the linear wipe transition. And if we click and drag the linear wipe transition, actually, I'm just gonna quickly move the slider here, click, and drag this linear wipe transition onto your footage. And you can see that it makes it disappear right away, but it's actually just because it's created a transition for it. It's making your footage pop in here. Now, if we go up to effect controls here, we can see that there's a blue stopwatch here. And what that shows us is that there's active keyframes taking place. So if you hold control on a PC or command on a Mac and click that, it'll get rid of that. And then it won't have any sort of changing keyframes now. So it'll just stay at whatever percent you had it at. And now we can drag it down to 0% and we effectively have a great starting point to crop our footage. You can see that if we take transition completion here and we slide this up to 100%, 
we lose all of our footage and if we slide it back, we get a whole range in between here that we can crop our footage from. And by default, it's gonna be cropping from the right, but you can see that if we change the wipe angle, we can change with really a high degree of control what angle we're wiping from. But if you just wanted like classic 90 degree angles, you can go back to 90 degrees or zero degrees to go from the bottom, 180 degrees if you wanted to go from the top, or negative 90 if you wanted to get back to that right to left motion that we had before. So all you have to do is take this slider and crop it as much as you want. And you also have a, a parameter here for feathering if you wanted it to be not, you know, completely harsh of an edge, you want it to be a little bit of a gradation there, that's perfectly fine. You have all these parameters set up here. So this is great. This is a great substitute for using the crop effect. But if you're like me, you're like, well, why did that crop effect before not work as I expected it to? Like it's set up in such a nice way where you have all these different parameters ready for you to use it. Now there is a way that you can actually fix this and you can save it so that every single time you use it in the future, it's ready to go. All you have to do is underneath your layer drop down here, you can see under effect you have all these different cropping parameters. Just click on the top one and then hold shift and click on the bottom one. And now you're gonna click the U key twice. And that will break down everything here. And you can see that there's some writing here. These are what's called expressions. They're special commands for each of these different parameters. We don't want these. So to get rid of these, all you have to do, every single time that you see a red parameter here, just go to the stopwatch to the left that it's associated with and hold Alt if you're on a PC and Option if you're on a Mac and then click that. And you can see it gets rid of it. So for any red parameter, we're just gonna get rid of that and all the way down to the bottom here and perfect. There's just one last thing here now. We can see that there's a bunch of parameters that have a bunch of percentage sliders ramped up a little bit. So we're just gonna take these from five down to zero. And now we have a cropping effect that's perfectly set up for us to be able to use. Now, if we wanted to crop from the left, we can just take the slider and we can start cropping from the left. Or we can crop uh, from the right Perfect, and you can use these in combination, and if you really wanted to, you could actually change up the angles of each of these. So you still have a high degree of control, but it's set up by default in a way that's really user-friendly. So now's the last piece. If we wanted to save this so that we can just use this and not have to change it every single time we add a new crop edges effect, that's also really simple. Just highlight the crop top here, and for each successive one, hold Control or Command and click, or you can click the top one and then hold shift and click the bottom one here. Now go up to animation, save animation preset. We're gonna be saving this as a new effect. So it'll by default send you to your user presets. And from here, all you have to do is type in the name that you wanna call this. You can call this crop if you want to, but I'm gonna call mine a simple crop. Click save. And then what you'll notice here is that on the right hand side, we already have crop typed in here. Under your user presets, we have the simple crop effect. And just to prove to you that it works, I'm gonna take away all of these parameters here. So we're starting with a blank sheet. And if we drag and drop our simple crop, we can see that all of these parameters are ready to go. Perfect. So now we have a user-friendly way to start cropping in After Effects for every single new project. So those were a few different methods to crop inside of After Effects. I hope that you were able to find some of them helpful and that some of these tips were able to help you save time and work way more effectively in the future. And if you work inside After Effects every day, you probably know that cropping is a really basic function that can help you to achieve some really cool results. So if that's you, let us know in a comment what your favorite application of cropping is. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.